Hey girls, it's not Monday. I'm so sorry. I literally have no excuse for not uh, uploading a video on Monday. I just forgot. Not an excuse, but you know, until everyone does their punishments and or makes videos at all on this channel. I don't think I need to be punished because this is, this is just turning into like my Shauna and Kelly's channel. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this week's theme is um, summer reading list, and I have a couple here, but I don't own a couple of the ones that I want to read, but that I will read. Um, the first one is my copy of Dear Mr. Potter. I haven't read any of this yet, and you know, we all bought a copy at LeakyCon, so I've had it that long, and I still have not had the time to read it. Um, my next read is um, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare because I'm thoroughly obsessed with pretty much everything this woman writes. I love her Mortal Instruments series and so that's why also on my summer reading list is City of Lost Souls which Fiona has read and has told me that I need to go out and buy and read promptly. Um, because it's so good. It's the fifth one in the Mortal Instruments series, and I think they're gonna be like seven or something But ah, I can't wait and I can't wait to read Clockwork Angel and then hopefully get my hands on Clockwork Prince as well Because that's the second one in the Infernal Devices series, which is that one um, and then also I plan on reading uh, Maureen Johnson's The Name of the Star I think that's the name of the title. I always get that in the Fault in Our Stars like mixed up because they came out around the same time and they have very similar titles and the authors are BFFs, whatever. Um, so my roommate Jenny owns that book and she was gonna go home this weekend and get that for me to read while I'm still in town so I don't have to take that to Virginia with me. Um, but then also I plan on finally reading Wuthering Heights because you know, we all need classics in our lives, and I have this really awesome copy that my mom got me for Christmas like two years ago or something. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, I haven't read it yet. Um, and, uh, and I also want to start reading a new series by one of my favorite um, young adult authors. Her name is Cinda Williams Chima, and she wrote one of my favorite uh, young adult book series called the Warrior Air Trilogy, and ah, if you haven't read the Warrior Air Trilogy, like you're seriously missing out. They are incredible books. The first one is called The Warrior Air, the second one is The Wizard Air, and the third one is The Dragon Air, and like, <laughs> they're so good. They're so good. And I didn't realize that she'd written a new series until like around Christmas time this year, and when I found her book in the in the Barnes and Noble over right across the border in Georgia, I like almost had a heart attack because I wanted to buy it immediately. But instead, I bought Shine by Lauren Miracle and read that over spring break, which is another amazing book that you should all read. It's about um, hate crimes against gay youth and uh, in small town so Southern America. So you should all read that book. You should check out all the ones that I talked about, especially the ones by Cassandra Clare. And um, I'll see the rest of you this week. Bye.